Welcome to the Housework Workshop Vlog, episode 002, starting right now. Have you ever done a project that you really, really hate, but you know it's like a necessary evil, you have to do it, it's not even a question? Well, that's how I feel about designing these 2x72 grinder plans. Ultimately, it is like mind-numbing, insanely difficult to put together plans for something that you built. I mean, maybe other people have no trouble with this at all, or maybe there's some system out there that I don't know about. Maybe there's some like crew of people that will come in and dissect your project and then create really good looking PDF plans and put them out online for you so you don't have to think about it. But if that exists, I probably can't afford it. This process of creating these two by 72 plans has shown me how detailed this machine is, how important every little single cut and hole and tap and all of the things that I put into it. You don't think about that when you're actually building it and designing it. You just think about, you know, hey, this is a system and it works and I put wheels and I put a motor and I put a fulcrum bolt and, you know, it just all kind of came together for me. The actual process of taking my hands and the steel and the parts and producing the grinder was actually easier than producing the verbal, written, and visual component of creating these plans. Not that I'm complaining at all. Don't see it like this. This is more of me whining and me ultimately just being a baby. Just give me my few minutes of whining and crying and then I'll be over it and I'll move on with my life. The good news is I'm almost done. I am almost done! I'm almost there. I have got like just a little bit left. I've got the photos taken. I've got most of the copy written. I've got it put in my computer and InDesign and kind of cool looking. And I even gave the grinder a name. It's been named. But I'm going to save that for another video when we release the plans. I appreciate your patience, by the way. And I appreciate all of you who have supported me in this process. Yeah, you look great. You look you're just, you're just glowing. You look fantastic. Just hold it right there. Yep. Give me sexy. Give me, give me those bed. What about mysterious? Can you do mysterious for me? Yeah. Lean into it just a little bit. Oh man. Yeah. You look, you're just beautiful. Oh, you think so? You want to try that? Okay. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. These will just be for us. Yeah. Let's take your belt off. Oh, wow. Look at you. Fantastic. You are beautiful. Holy. Oh my God. We, we should probably put your belt back on. My wife's gonna be home soon and yeah, you know, she's pretty cool about stuff like this, but. New tool, acquisition. This amazing greasy combination of steel, aluminum, plastic, and technology is the Grizzly Industrial G0561 horizontal bandsaw. Now this might seem like a little bit of an extravagant purchase for a home workshop, but I will quickly change your mind about that. Ringing in at just over $1,000 on the grizzlyindustrial.com website, you can have a versatile tool like this in your workshop. Why I think something like this is important is because if you're doing repetitive work with steel and you're doing a lot of it, something like this makes the task really easy. It's a seven inch by 12 inch capacity. It's got a self-locking vise, a hydraulic system, a cooling system, and you can adjust all kinds of settings on it so it'll cut different kinds of material. My one favorite feature of this is the fact that it does go vertical and they give you a little plate so you can use it like a standard bandsaw. It's like magic. Come down, come down. Yes. Oh baby, that's sweet. No, no, no. She's not here to replace you. No, no, no. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. I need to do some bigger jobs, some cutting of that tube steel and stuff that you don't like to do. I mean, I'm still going to cut my blade blanks out on you and all of the smaller stuff. Not that you are smaller or less useful. She's going to add to this place. It's, it's like, uh, you know, adding to what we have going on here. Just, just trust me on this. Shh. It's got a one horsepower motor that you can change the speed. It's a single phase, so you can't use a VFD. 
but you can change the belts on it to adjust the speed if you want. I currently have it set to the slowest speed and it works just fine. Makes really straight cuts. It includes a blade when you buy it. One of the things I really like about Grizzly Industrial is that they're bridging the gap between industrial commercial applications and home applications. That's kind of right where I fall. I'm not really a commercial entity making you know, hundreds of thousands of parts. And I'm not really a home shop, I'm somewhere in between. And for just over a thousand bucks, this thing fits that niche perfectly. I had a great experience buying from Grizzly Industrial. I purchased this and a couple other things from them and it all came really nicely crated up and shipped quick. So I've got one more question for you guys. I am very interested in what you are all up to out there. I know you all have tools. I know you're all making things. Some of you are making knives. Some of you are creating things with metal and other things. Some of you are just building houses and doing other things. Please, I want to know. I'm super interested. If you could, send me an email. Brian at housework.us. Include as many photos as you would like. I am super interested and I'd like to feature some of your work right here on my vlog. I know that sounds weird. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense why I would want to hear from you because I'm a creator. I'm out here in this world doing this thing. I do this work for two reasons. One is, of course, I want to be a content creator and I want to educate people and have them uh, learn from me and I would learn from you and so on and so on. But honestly, the community component of it is actually very satisfying to me. When you're a dude who spends a lot of time working and thinking and creating and using your hands, being tactile, doing all kinds of things that are maybe not so normal, it's really hard to find people in the general population that are similar. And honestly, I feel like I'm building a community with you guys who are very similar to me. And some of you I've met who I know are very similar to me and had scary similar experiences in their personal lives. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. It makes me feel like I'm doing something that actually has purpose. If I give something to you and I receive something back, that to me is very important. It makes my life really worth living. I know that is some sort of existential crisis or something. sounds like a existential crisis or something but the reality of it is is i never fit in i've never fit in with any group before and that's because i'm just not like other people and i've never really wanted to conform to match what other people are thinking and doing and it's just it's like something inside of me just won't let me do it and when I started creating videos, I started finding that there was other people like that out there that were similar to me and had same, the same kind of ideas, the same kind of drive. And then I started sort of compiling you all by creating content in a weird way. And we all kind of started coming together. And honestly, it's been amazing to have people to talk to about certain things that seem to understand what I'm saying and understand my goals and understand what I'm doing. Send me an email, brian at housework.us. Send me some photos, send me some context. I need to know what you're working on. I want to know, and then I want to share it right here on my vlog. Fave, 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 fave. Favorite comment, favorite comment, favorite comment, favorite comment of the week. Fave, 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 favorite comment of the week. more of my favorite commenter this week and his name in the comment section is s-r-i-r-l and uh, he says i've come to the conclusion that my drill bits aren't dull they're just lazy and what he was referring to is my drill doctor video if you haven't watched that i'll put a card right up here so you can check that out but i actually purchased one of those fad devices called the drill doctor and i repaired a bunch of drill bits and it worked out really well and uh, i found that really funny uh, his, his real name is Jimmy, and I do appreciate you, Jimmy. Thank you so much for writing in and commenting on all my videos, man. I really do appreciate that. I actually convinced him to send me an email and send me some photos of his grinding setup. I just wanted to share my most completed grinder build. He's still waiting for his controller to come in. I started like your first with a vertical spring-loaded tensioner. I could never get mine back on track as I expected to and after watching your redesign video I went with a lever action tension similar to yours. I even added a cheater bar in the form of an old rusty box end wrench. 
that I bent to shape and welded into place. It makes depressing the rear spring loaded tracking wheel a breeze. I was also having trouble with aligning the flywheel when installing the motor. It seemed like it wanted to ride all cattywonkered, probably from the sheer amount of times that I had welded it, cut it off, and then re-welded it. It was just something my OCD couldn't abide, so I created an adjustment rod of sorts, basically a half inch all thread run through two nuts that push against the innermost end of the motor, and it keeps it from torquing inward when you tighten down the straps. Anyway, I wanted to say thanks for the inspiration and tons of good info I've gathered from your channel. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, thank you so much for sending that. I think what I gathered from this email, the best piece of information, uh, has been, and, is, and from a lot of you who have shared your setups with me, is how there are a million ways to skin a cat, and you can do, you can build a grinder and make it however you want. Uh, there are just a few select things that you have to make sure you do in order to have a solid and tuned grinder, one that's safe to use and easy to use and all of that. And I think what I took from Jimmy's email is that it's nice to have all the options of adjustability. You know, it, when you're using the machine from belt to belt, it changes. You know, each belt is, is not going to track the same way. So to be able to adjust certain things like having a floating tracking mechanism, being able to um, uh, turn your grinder horizontal to be able to turn it uh, reverse. Those are all things that if you didn't have that, you'd probably be doing these fine tuning adjustments more than you'd actually be doing your grinding. So Jimmy, thank you so much for sending that email, man. I truly appreciate it. Thanks for the pictures. As always, if you'd like me to feature your setup on my vlog, send me an email, brian at housework.us. I would love to see pictures and give me some detail about how you built your grinder and what you've got going on in your shop. I'm super interested in that. If you got something out of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. As always, if you see anything in my workshop and studio that you'd like to know more about, there are links down in the description that will take you to my Amazon store. And if you click through those links and buy something, I get a small commission and that is a free way to support my channel. I do have a Patreon page now you can click through and for as little as $1 a month, you can support everything I've got going on in here. I would truly, truly appreciate it. It helps me keep going financially. Also, if you're not into Patreon, you can use the buy me a coffee link. I love coffee. And there's one more way, and a few of you have used it, and I truly appreciate you. If you're interested in buying some cool housework merch, there is a link right below this video that will take you to my Teespring store, and you can buy yourself a cool t-shirt or maybe a hoodie and sport some cool housework merch. Thanks for watching, guys. I truly appreciate you. I hope to see you on the next video. My name is Brian House, and this has been Housework. Fave. 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 Fave, 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 favorite comment, favorite comment, favorite comment, favorite comment of the week, fave, 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 fave